working on getting a lot of stuff ready for the overwintering. Last year, I've said before, it was a nightmare. I didn't particularly enjoy it. We had over a thousand of salt fish. It was hard work. We got through it. I had to replace some fish with customers and I worked hard to make sure that every customer went away with a smile on the face. Uh, I think none of all of them did. Obviously, you can't, you can't please everyone. But we did, we did work hard to make sure that happened. And I did, I really did. And then um, we, we got over a thousand fish that were sold out to customers, which was a massive undertaking. I've said it before, I had pretty much a one man band. Becky out, I've got Mick and I've got Rob, and they all do stuff, but they don't necessarily do the fish day to day. I do, I'm the only one who does that. Um, so what I'm doing right now is getting a bit of a better system. We've got new fish coming in, they're going straight into the window tank. I didn't expect them today, but apparently they're coming today. It is what it is, we've got new fish. Um, they're going into the window tank. I've just cleaned that easy pod, sorting that tank out. This tank has completely drained down yet again, but it needs to get cleaned properly to become a, a payment on winter pond. So everything that goes into this pond here is going to be a payment on winter pond. The same thing that happened with this pond here. So eventually, every pond in this drop, every single fish will be sold throughout winter. We can control the temperature a lot better in here. If need be, if it gets really cold, I can put a heater on in here and we can keep it ambient. So that's going to, well, when I say ambient, I mean like 12 degrees or higher. So that's going to be a lot easier to manage. Um, so I'm just trying to get a better system in place. Last year, I had heaters, extension leads, water changes in December, November, January. It was absolute hell. So I just thought to say a little opportunity to talk about Zoe's place. It's a baby's hospital in Liverpool, and it's the only dedicated hospital to the type of care that they give to babies in the UK, surprisingly. It's also on the brink, on the brink of collapse. They need, they've got till mid-October to raise five million pounds to keep them open. They raised just over 1.4 as of last night. We done a raffle on a, a Maradol giving in a Chagoy, 55, 35 centimetres, sorry. And we raised £250 in one night, and that's going to get donated as soon as that money clears this week from the website. Um, but there's also links, and we'll put the link in the description of this video. Please, if you can, go and check out Zoe's Place. Amazing charity, absolutely blown away that they're on the verge of collapse. Um, hopefully, as a country, as a city, that people are going to get behind and save this charity, which I believe is going to happen, but every little will help. So please help when you can. Right, so now we're on to the next job and it's sorting this path out. So, um, as you can see, all the vats or the ponds that were in this area now have gone. So th this is totally empty now. Um, I'm making this into like a little bit of a show pond with a nice window. Eventually, it's not really a massive, uh, not, not a massive project at the moment because there's winter's coming and we need to get everywhere else sorted. One of the problems we struggled with last year was wet and muddiness. So. This path is going to get sorted and stoned. All this area eventually is going to be flagged. All this area has now been stoned down here. Um, these are just 10 fats. I use them for putting in customers' fish before they get shipped out. So just sorting the wires out in the airlines. We've literally just done this now. Um, and we've still got these couple of ponds in use. But not too much fish-wise happening at the moment. Um, well, I'm going to say not too much fish-wise. We've still got a lot of fish. A lot of fish in the shop. But right now it's just trying to get the uh, the building stuff done. We've got fish coming from Japan next month. In about four weeks we've got a lot of fish coming from Japan. So we need to make sure that everywhere is set up ready. Because last year it was horrible and I really don't want to go through that again. So next job of the day was to get some piping for a customer. So they've got a bottom drain there going on to um, pressure pipe and the airline as well. It had to come up and down. And we've had a little bit of a, a nightmare because the fresh water feed there is blocking where the ball valve would go. So I'm going to uh, retrofit something to make that work. And then the pipe is then running pump fed along up and into that pump cupboard. They're going on an easy pod for the time being, but I have, I have advised that there might need to be a bigger filter in the future. They don't want too many fish in the pond. They just want it to be like novel show purposes. Could look really good, I think it's going to look really good, but trying to get all the pipe working for them and make sure that that works right is a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. But we'll do it. Got to make sure the customers are happy, eh? Just coming over the Horseshoe Pass, which is not far from my house, and you can't see anything for the fog. Like, that's the edge of the mountain there, look at that. 
it's crazy. Oh guys, I'm back at the shop and things are a little bit mental this week. My windscreen smashed, auto glass have come out. Today, this is the day only. I have to drop my heat nursery. I have to go pick up some building supplies because there's a lot of mine working. Um, getting some taps solid. Uh, I've had a fish delivery. I've got to go over to the Whittle and do a bit of a pond build. Try and get some of that in this video. And I've also had, well, I've just heard about these fish delivered. I need to get these fish in. This tank has been emptied out purposely for them to go straight into there. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game on that one. But really, I need to get some photographs as well. So I can try and sell some, because that's how this works. I sell fish. So uh, I'm going to get some out now. I'll show you them quickly. Photograph them as fast as I can. And then shoot onto the wheel and get on this pond. Lots of new fish just arrived from Koi Wholesale. Literally fresh out the box. We've got some absolutely amazing Sakai Krasi Goi. Look at that. We've got some beautiful, lovely Shunku. Amazing. Um, we've also got some really nice Gimrin from Sakamaki, Dainichi Obikai. Absolutely beautiful fish, all available at my boys Koi. Send us an email if you are interested in any of these. So I'm just leaving the second pond job of the day in this beautiful building here. Um, first one, I was stuck. I couldn't do anything. As you see, I've literally done a very short clip of the Nexus getting took over. Uh, the water in the pond was um, had to be drained out. The insulation had to go in and the liners then for me to put the liners in and start doing pipe work, which I thought was going to be done, but it wasn't done. So that put me off. So then it comes to this job. Um, this job's getting insulated in the next um, two days, so this is indoors, this pond. So this is uh, it was a bit of a rush of like, me coming over in the evening. It is about six o'clock now, and I've got fish to go and sell, so I'm going to go and get some food and go home and try and sell some fish. Honestly, can't moan because we are so busy, it's not stopping, but also we are so busy, I'm, I'm just not stopping. It's an absolute killer. I'm back up on the Horseshoe Pass and the fog is unbelievable compared to the other day which was bad it is crazy I should probably put my main mirror on shouldn't I fog lights that's just blinding me I'll knock them back off I didn't wait did I? I can't see nothing now yeah I'm going to leave them off but look out that fog living in the Welsh hills so guys I'm gonna sign this video off I've just been the chippy and got me and Becky some food I'm absolutely shattered it's been a crazy long few days but it's all good 
I mentioned before that we don't make any mini money from these videos. If you want to support the channel, hit the like and subscribe. It does mean the world to me. It helps grow the channel and push out the content. And it gives me a purpose to carry on making these videos. As I said, they're not profitable. So by getting them subscribers and them likes, it does make me think it's worthwhile. And also, if you want to support us or you want to buy any fish from us, let us know. Send us an email to myboyscoatgmail.com. Come and join one of the WhatsApp groups and get involved there's lots going on over winter we're going to keep going 52 weeks of the year we don't stop and come and be a part of it you're more than welcome to i'll uh, catch you all in the next video thanks for watching